What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Please follow my Instagram at Russo Lifts just in case something happens to this YouTube channel. You can follow, message, and you can watch my daily story content on Instagram. I'll see you there. What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today I'm going to be talking about the half natty blurred line of perception in the fitness industry. What do I mean by half natty? So I'm gonna relate this to myself. So if you guys are new here, I document all my enhanced cycles, all my side effects, and I'm really into the stuff, the new age stuff, right? The injectable SARMs, the new age compounds that have no real data around them. I like documenting them. So normally I utilize the test base to keep my estrogen level normal, to keep a normal amount of estrogen converting. And then I add in the exogenous androgen I'm testing. That way I only have a couple variables to see what's going on. And the whole point of the log is just to document the pros, the cons of what I note and can compare to other androgens so that hopefully one day in the future, if someone is researching into utilizing or utilizing playing around with the cycle, they kind of have like a cliff notes on what to expect and how to combat some of the sides that I faced and that I already found the solutions to or didn't find the solutions to and maybe they should stay away from the compound. So these cycles are small-ish. I'm gonna say that my injectable SARMs um, bulk cycle is probably my craziest cycle in a while and my biggest leap forward, right? I'm really about like small enhanced linear progression watching my blood work and slowly taking a calculated approach instead of ruining my blood work for two years to get to that physique faster and then having all those issues way down the road i'd much rather creep towards it slowly while monitoring everything that's the way i like to do it but people assume since this is an enhanced channel that i should look fucking insane and I do not have the best genetics. I think my genetics are average, maybe slightly above average when I'm shredded. Again, I haven't been shredded since 18 years old. I'm 23, so I've just been slowly accumulating size to compete. And when I compete, I am gonna do a much more competitive cycle and document it for you guys. So we'll see how I respond to a full-blown actual cycle, not just an experiment. But people are comparing me to and this is where I'm going to get into the half natty blurred perception line. They're comparing me to, you know, the crazy physiques you see because I'm an enhanced channel. So they're comparing me to someone. And again, I have experience with it with that enhanced documentary I did for Generation Iron for only one week. It was only one week and I came there starved three days to try and put on the most muscle as possible. But people like this tend that I should have the results of HGH plus insulin, plus blasting a bunch of gear. That is gonna yield a much more crazier enhanced physique than a solo run SARM cycle, you know, a solo run SARM cycle experiment, which is most of the stuff that I've documented or like my first testosterone cycle. In my opinion, just having that cycle experience for a week and seeing how crazily I morphed and even though I look like a watery sack of shit because the HGH dosage was way too high, I could see how if I cycled that way with the HGH sling combo with the gear blasting, if I cycled correctly at much lower dosages, how I would definitely get that more bubbly look. And if I shredded up on that look, I'd probably look pretty crazy. But that's not everyone wants to take that route, right? Not everyone, like I said, I want to creep up to that slowly if I even want to go all the way up there, but I don't not want to jump into that right now. I don't really see with my current physique the need to as long as I'm continuing my linear progression, but people assume that's how I should look because of all the half natties out there. And what do I mean by half natty? So people ride the half natty train to fame, okay? They all do the same fucking thing, the Gymshark dudes, all these dudes most people will not look you're not going to be a hyper responder to steroids or SARMs right after that first cycle you're going to get like a big barrage of gains from you know your muscle cells maturing from the androgen saturation of the first cycle you know the first cycle is like your big kaboom 
then after that it's just back to like it's more of like enhanced you know linear progression at that point if you're at your you know somewhere near your nat natural peak it's more about progression after that first cycle unless you know you're one of those genetic genetically lucky people and you hyper respond but that's not most people so what they do is they ride the half natty hall of fame you know the train of fame whatever you want to fucking call it and they will try and claim natural for as long as they can and then once they're like fuck you know i, I look like i'm on steroids now then they flip the coin and they flip the clout and then they they say oh you know i'm gonna be transparent I'm gonna, you know, you know, we're just being honest here. I'm trying to clean up the industry, but you weren't transparent all those years. You built up to that physique that is now unmaintainable naturally. I guess the point of this video is these crazy enhanced physiques, like I get compared to these crazy enhanced physiques. Like first off, these crazy, crazy enhanced physiques that people in their mind think, oh, he's on steroids, he should, he should look like that. Like that look that you're thinking of is not just steroids. It's steroids plus HGH plus insulin for like a year or two or three. That will give you that insane look. So if we go back into bodybuilding history, you know, Arnold, all those guys, they weren't nearly as fucking crazy big and they weren't like crazy looking all the time, right? They did pyramiding style cycling, meaning they would pyramid up for the show and then pyramid off and the pyramid up. They don't do, they didn't have like a biochem knowledge like they have, we have today and have all the TRT doctors, you know, weighing in their input on not fucking throwing your hormones back and forth like that. But that's what, you know, they did back in the day with the knowledge they had. And then. Here comes Dorian Yates. So Dorian Yates is a Mr. Olympia that won based on size. So he was battling much more, quote, prettier bodybuilders, right? Bodybuilders had better lines, you know, better aesthetics. But Dorian went back to the drawing board, again, put together a cycle, most likely, again, I don't know Dorian, but HGH, insulin, and gear he was the first one to combine it all to have the hyperplasia effects of hgh and insulin shoving the food into the muscles all the time the most anabolic hormone in the body with these steroids on top and he came back and he changed the bodybuilding game forever by bringing the mass he was the first mass monster he changed the route bodybuilding took for the generations to come and then we had ronnie coleman we had jay cutler so you know, a steroid user turned into this much crazier freak show because of the more enhanced chemistry going on in the bodybuilding world. And again, bodybuilding, there's no rules. Literally, you can do whatever you want to be the best, and it's the best on that stage at that day. So there's no rules, and that was the evolution, was that. But, that is a completely different look and these half natty people basically what they'll do is they'll ride a low test cycle so like they did back in the Arnold days or they'll ride a SARMs only cycle which isn't going to cause much muscle glycogen retention so you're not going to have like crazy full muscles but as far as strength goes you're going to be able to smash new PRs all the fucking time with SARMs and you know I've documented that over my cycles and you can see with some of these Gymshark dudes that their strength just keeps going up and up and up and up and it's nothing like natural powerlifting linear progression it's nothing like they're peaking their cycles it's literally seems like there may or may not be an androgen going on so as they're riding the half natty road to fame and they're riding down it you know they just don't talk about it or they claim natural and you know since they don't talk about it people assume they're natural or you know they, they, they lie to their audience and say they're natural and then they accumulate a lot more clout and you know their content doesn't get censored like mine because I'm brutally honest and I'm not I'm not saying I'm better than them you know I understand I'm not hating on the players it's the game but we can change the game with honesty 
Well, if we all come together, we can change the game, and I want to change the game, and that's my goal. But they'll ride it all the way to a point where they don't look natty anymore, right? So your muscle accumulates over time, even enhanced. It doesn't all just happen at once. After your first cycle, it's really back to the grind. You're just enhanced now and you can break down your body more. You can process your more food, but it's still back to the grind. It still takes years to accumulate a crazy physique, like people say, and you're never gonna get a crazy HGH insulin blasting gear physique unless you play the chemistry behind your diet and training, right? So what they'll do is they'll make it to that point where like, ah oh, shit, like they're looking at their Instagram, they're like, I look like I'm on steroids now, fuck. So they'll come out after lying to everyone, riding the road to fame, getting all the clout, and they'll switch gears and say, you know what guys, you know, I'm deciding to take my first cycle. <laughs> after cycling for so long, they'll say they're deciding to take their first cycle, or they'll be like, you know, you know, I just wanna come out, you know, I think it's better that, you know, I'm honest. It's all a clout move. It's all a clout move to be honest because they don't want to fall down the fake natty black hole. And that is where this half natty thing really blurs the line really hard. In my opinion, you're either fully fucking natural, never touched an exogenous androgen in your life, or you're not natural. And that's fine. Like I said in the last video, the minute you know, these exogenous androgens start saturating and maturing, or saturating your androgen receptors and maturing your muscle cells. It's like a permanent change, it's different. You can't compare yourself to a natural person who has stayed natural his whole time. So basically, this perception has been so skewed that unless you look like, you know, this God tier type person, or unless you abuse a monster cycle, which, you know, I, I creep along linear progression with Enhanced if you watch me, right? I don't make these massive jumps forward. I think the biggest jump forward was this injectable SARMs bulk. That has been my craziest thing so far. You know, I'm slowly creeping forward and matching the androgens based on my progression, right? In a couple years, I'll get to that physique. I don't need to fucking destroy my blood work for months on ends, months, months on end to get to that physique like now. Like there's, that's not gonna play out good long term. It's much better to be much more calculated. But now people are saying, you know, I look natty because I'm choosing the slower, more linear route to where in modern society, if I were to play the game, and I don't hate all these people really who do this half natty shit and all these people who switch teams and all the lying for the supplement contracts and what could it, it could do, you know, I get it, I get that, but at the end of the day, your image is already done, the perception to all your viewers is already skewed on what is actually achievable naturally, and it's a complete disrespect and diss to actual natural bodybuilders and actual natural powerlifters by doing this half natty road to fame and there's so many of these guys doing it and they all have bigger followings than me they all look more shredded than me they look better than me you know they're more crazy lively and fake like with their personalities than me but what they're doing is not good overall perception for people's body images and i just wish that we could change the game and be more honest there's nothing wrong with saying you're enhanced, you know? Everyone, I think it's out of the fear of disrespect. Like people like hate on me because they can get better than me naturally, like I even fucking care. But I think people actually take that to heart. I think people take to heart what their family thinks of that. I think, you know, obviously sponsorships is the big thing, so. All my sponsorship opportunities besides EA were basically gone when I decided to make the content I made. But a couple years later, it seems like my sponsorship opportunities are coming back, right? I feel the change in the fitness industry. People want more honesty. They want this shit to stop, but you need to pick who to support. And I'm not just saying support just me. 
but you need to pick the right people to add to your sub box. You need to pick the right people to push up. I just want to see the half natty road to fame not really be there. I want to see the minute people start going down that route and you start seeing a suspect half fake natty, you know, I just want to see people in the comments saying to go get blood work done. Cause it's 200 bucks to see if they're natty or not. And you'll be able to tell 99% of the time if they're lying or not. I just want to see those call outs more. Again, what Gray do said and Derek more plates, more dates and Kenny do is they, you know, they call out the big people for the clout search. You know, that's fine. That's cool. I'm glad that, you know, bigger celebrities are being called out because they obviously just use cycles and stuff. But I really want to see the fitness industry cleaned up before we clean up the rest of it. Okay, the fitness industry needs to start with just being honest. Like I said, I'll watch someone, I'll follow someone's enhanced journey just as much as their natural journey, you know? It's just like, I know they're enhanced, right? So if you're natural and you're like, wow, you know, I don't, I'm not making that type of progress. I'm not breaking PRs every time I go in the gym. Oh, you know, he's enhanced. That's why he's being honest with me. Okay. Well, I'm going to still support him because I like him and I follow him. That's the way it should be. It shouldn't be the, oh, I'm not going to talk about it. Oh shit. I'm like, I'm like fucking massive now looking at my Instagram. Guys, 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 you know, I'm just coming clean. You know, this is obviously not a clout move, but you know, I'm, I'm not natural. Okay. You know, that needs to fucking stop. I feel like this road to fame is really fucking annoying. And yeah, just share this around because, you know, this is how we clean up the industry. You guys who watch have all the power. Again, if you stop watching or if you start leaving comments, that's all you need, right? You don't, you have all the power. You guys are choosing who to push up and the people you push up impact the industry. So... Just keep that in mind. I guess my biggest rant and takeaway from this video is just because you don't look like a crazy juiced up dude doesn't mean you're not playing around with synthetic androgens. Like I said in my previous videos, you know, SARMs only insane for powerlifting. Your strength's gonna go through the roof. Will you have the glycogen and nitrogen retention of a fucking gear blast? No. But that doesn't mean you're not at a distinct advantage over natural and you could definitely skirt by and claim natural while you're building your cns strength rapidly faster than a natural person so that's my thoughts i want to see what other people have to say and i will see you guys in my next video